So guys, I just had a random idea. I just did a Fire Emblem video and I was saying to myself, you know, of course, when when choosing like, you know, what path in the Fire Emblem, if games you want to go, you have to consider, you know, the goals of each side, you know, what what's, what each side wants in general, you know, the way they see the other side, their, you know, their beliefs, the way they go about achieving their goals in the first place, you know, are they going to be more, like I said, rigid or are they going to be more relaxed? I don't know. All those things are well and good. They're all good. But let's not forget another great aspect of Fire Emblem Awakening, the girls. All these girls are in this game and, I mean, excuse me, not Fire Emblem, well, Fire Emblem Awakening, of course, the girls, but I mean, Fire Emblem If, of course, is going to have the same thing. A lot of girls to meet, a lot of girls to work with, to have alongside you, and to marry. So, I mean, of course, obviously, we're not going to be able to analyze the girls because, you know, it's not just about their looks, but their personality as well helps make them who they are and make them look even more appealing or less appealing depending on who you are or whatnot. So, since we do have this Fire Emblem If trailer, I want to break it down. Let's pick out which girl is the baddest from what we know about them so far. So first off, we're starting right here. We got this girl with the blue hair. Now, she is a cutie pie. I know that much, but we don't know exactly what her personality will be. Now, if we're gonna look by like, you know, standard anime character logic, her personality seems like it would be a bit more timid. Now, in terms of, you know, anime girls and whatnot, Timid is cool with me. Timid is cool, but you know, I, I, I like him to have a bit more <clears throat> to him, you know? That, that's why I love Sully in Fire Emblem Awakening, because she gets shit done. Like, I mean, sure, she, she, she's, she's tender, you know? Like, Sully, she, she had, she was very gentle, but at the same time, she was tough, you know what I mean? I, I, I love it when the female characters have that kind of personality. I, I love, I love when they're the main character in general. That's why I think I love Final Fantasy XIII so much, because, but I mean, she looks awesome. Like, in terms of, like, her outfit and just the way she looks, She's, she gets a thumbs up. A lot of people love this girl already. I don't know what her name is. In fact, I don't know any of the names of any of these girls, but um, from just from you know her outer looks and whatnot, everyone's going crazy over her. I'm gonna have to wait though, because I don't just choose a waifu like that. I need to wait and see what their personality has, but I guess that's the way life works in general. You don't get with somebody just because they're pretty. But if she was more of a timid personality, eh, okay. But, Let's move on forward. We're gonna we're gonna break this down. So um, got a bunch of dudes here. That's all good. That's all good. Um, this guy this guy actually looks pretty damn badass. Um, they they both represent I guess the main people on both sides, and yeah yeah they definitely represent the main people. So I don't know. You really can't choose like who's a good guy and a bad guy from this because they both look pretty damn threatening to be honest with you. Uh, this game seems to have really aggressive character design in terms of their costumes because both of them look like bad guys to be honest with you. Maybe not this guy as much because his blade is blue, but if you gave him the purple blade then he would look just as bad as that other guy. Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, so now we have this girl. She seems like she's a bit older than, I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say, but she's in, clearly in a position of power, so I mean, I don't know. It doesn't really, I don't know, it's just, I guess it's just like the way I'm wired. Eh, she doesn't really make my heart flutter like that. So um, we're just going to keep moving. God damn, this trailer is fucking harsh. But, um, okay, is that, that's a dude, right? And that's the girl that we saw in the beginning, so we can just excuse that. Um, let's see, what are the girls? Okay, so now we have this girl right here. I think we're going to be getting some more showings of her. But she... Everyone was comparing her like saying, oh, she's the new Tharja, she's the new bad Tharja type girl. I don't know, man. I don't think there's anybody that can replace Tharja. Of course there's not. We all know this. We don't want Tharja to be replaced, but people are saying that she could be along the lines of that. And maybe because of her headdress, she kind of does seem like she would have a Tharja type feel to her. Maybe even be from like a darker, you know, like a darker faction. Maybe. She seems like it. And then you have this girl as well too. She seems like she would be more of the Lissa of the group, and Lissa was cool too, I mean, apparently she was, uh, apparently she was kind of like, you know, almost Krom's age, but just, you know, she just looked really young, which is kind of weird, but I mean, hey, um, I wish we had names for these, oh, now, here we go, now, to be honest with you guys, she's pretty much like in the number one spot for waifu material right now, if I get into this game, because she, I guess because she resembles Sully, so I'm just imposing Sully's personality onto her, but I mean, she looks like such a badass on top of it all, like, the hairstyle, first off, the short hair is definitely a plus. It's interesting. I don't really care what hairstyle like a girl has, to be honest with you. I mean, but it works for her really well. And the burning red eyes, like, 
I love the color red thanks to my current girlfriend right now. So I mean, I guess that's just rubbing off on me with this girl. And she just looks like such a badass, man. All the girls in Fire Emblem were badass in their own way, but she looks like a real fucking tough chick, you know? And I, I like that. I like that attribute so much. That's why, you know, I, I like Sully so much in Fire Emblem. As I said multiple times, she looks really awesome. And I, I wish we would get some more artwork of her. And um, I, I, I wish I could read the dialogue too, because that would really help me in determining which of these girls is the best waifu currently. But I can't determine that, because I just can't read Japanese. Um, I do have a Japanese squad member, but she's really busy a lot of the time, so I guess I won't be able to get her to help me translate this for now. But yeah, she thumbs fucking up. I mean, and you know, a lot of time guys think that, you know, girls have to have to kind of have like their bodies fully exposed in these in order to be the most attractive. They don't, they really don't. It just comes to a matter of how the character's presented and, you know, hairstyle definitely, of course. There's a lot of factors to it. Um, her, she looks like a cutie. You know, I mean, hey, that's cool, you know, like kind of like a Sumia kind of feeling girl, you know, that's that's okay. That's A-okay. There's plenty of guys that go crazy about that. Me, I, I want to, you know, I mean, but the girls that, like, like here's the thing as well that kind of makes me really like Tharja a lot too. The fact that Tharja, man, when she sees something she wants, she gets it. The way that she obsessed over Robin Shirt sure, may be kind of creepy to some people, but to me, that's admirable because... We live in a society nowadays that sometimes in courtship takes things in a very passive way, you know? Like, I, I mean, you know, I'm talking to the fellas right now. I mean, how many times have you heard from a girl that, you know, you were interested in? Oh yeah, I liked you at one point, but you know, I wasn't interested after a while, you know? It makes you wonder, why didn't you go after me? You know, guys aren't the only ones that should be the hunters. Girls should, you know, I mean, like guys, we're, we're sure, I guess like, I'm, I'm, I don't mean it by like, you know, men are supposed to always do the work, but I mean, you know, guys, I guess are more, fit to be the, the 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 ones that seek out the ones that seek to make the relationship happen but you know some work from the ladies wouldn't hurt you know some work from the ladies is appreciated you know it makes us feel special too you know like oh man wow she really does like me okay let's go but i mean Tharja is that to the maximum that's why i love this chick i mean i don't I love her love her but i mean you, you, you know what i mean right she's awesome she's absolutely awesome and that girl maybe she won't be as pursuing as pursuing as Darja, but you know like she look like she'll be real tough like a Sully 2.0 um there she is again oh, okay there she is again yeah real tough you know and she's not even all that exposed which to me beyond honest I mean I guess with her tough personality it's appreciated and that's the amazing thing about Fire Emblem as well too they can make their characters really pop male and female alike like I mean they, they make them pop and they don't necessarily have to resort to them being half naked to do so Darja an exception but that was part of the personality so it works out really well because she's not just defined by the body but defined by the persona in general everything works with these fire emblem characters you know and i'm not trying to sound like i'm sexist or anything you guys know how i feel about the male fire emblem characters too man they're amazing in their own regard lon ku lon ku is probably my most favorite male anime character of last year you know he, he's an amazing character in Fire Emblem, and Henry too. Henry's a cool guy. I mean, the jokes are so fucking stupid, and that's just part of the appeal. And, and let me not even talk about Robin. If I go on Robin, I'm just gonna I'm I'm, I'm gonna lose my shit. Why is Robin so damn smooth? <laughs> Why is Robin so damn smooth? <laughs> oh man. Now that's strategy. <laughs> Robin. <laughs> Robin, man. No homo. This dude Robin is so dreamy, man. <laughs> Oh my god, man. No, I can't think about Robin without losing my shit, man. This dude, Robin. <laughs> now that's strategy. <laughs> oh, man. Like, he, he's too smooth for the damn shepherds. <laughs> he's too damn smooth. I mean, he can teach Krom some things, man. Um, yeah, there's, there's the, the girl that kind of like resembles Starja, and once again, I guess people are also attributing this to her because she does have a. A considerable amount of cleavage on display, which Darja sort of kind of did as well too. Although I, I would think Darja is more focused in the ass aspect, you know. But I mean, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah. But you know, she kind of seems like she's in the same regard. Doesn't seem as as obsessive as Darja was. There's a word for it. Um, but she still seems like she's cool though. Um, all these, oh, man, all these characters. So that's that's the waifu in the running up there at the top right. That's definitely the waifu in the running. She, right now, if I had to choose just off of what I know right now, yeah, she's getting grabbed. She's, she's getting scooped up, just like that. 
Um, this girl, a lot of people like her, but just not my kind of person, at least what we know right now. I'm not saying I'm going to, you know, totally avoid it when the game comes out, but you know, just going off of first impressions. Aren't we all allowed to make first impressions? And I'm not just doing it based off of entirely looks, but you know, just a certain feel like that. Um, either way, when the game comes out, I'll be really curious in seeing how these girls hit the story, you know, because we live in a male, sadly, we live in a male-dominated society, man, and a lot of times female characters kind of just get put into roles which kind of sort of demean them, or maybe don't make them pop out as much as they should. Fire Emblem Awakening didn't have that problem because the women in that game really came out. Like, they really felt like they were significant parts of the story, you know? And um, it, it was just kind of like this thing where, you know, okay, everybody had potential to be a threat, everyone had potential to be an ally. It didn't matter what gender you were. And, now, you know, not just Fire Emblem Awakening, a lot of games have that role now, you know? And I think it's good, you know? So it's awesome to see that these girl characters have personality beyond their boobs. It's great. Um, damn, man. This game looks amazing. Yeah, yeah, I can see. Yeah, yeah, she kind of has a dodge. The cleavage, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, and then of course, obviously, Hoshido and Nor. Damn, man. I don't. I can't believe people have chosen a path already. Oh yeah, I'm going Hoshido. I'm going Nor. How do you know? Like, they, 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 we don't have enough information yet, man. We just don't have enough. Shout out to Game is playing. Um, and then of course, obviously, we can't forget the last waifu. Um, we got this one right here. Now, in terms of her. To be honest, she's my favorite girl so far. She's my favorite girl, I and mean, we don't even know shit about her right now, but just in terms of looks, she's my favorite. Because mainly, look at her, wait, look at this character. She, wait, what the hell, oh, okay. Now, okay, look at this character, right? There's a lot that we can tell about her just from the outer appearance. Now, first off, fully suited and booted in armor, you know, aside, aside from her feet, of course, which is a little bit odd, to be honest with you, but fully suited and booted. She's got armor from head to toe, yo. This girl means business, along with the male counterpart, Avatar character. Serious business. Like, so this is the kind of girl where, like, if you guys watch Game of Thrones, Daenerys, where, like, you know, guys, they won't talk out of line with her because they know what she's capable of. This looks like that kind of girl. Like, if you came up to this girl and talked disrespectful to her, she looks like she would cut your ass down. It, you can tell she's really tough. You can tell she's been through a lot of shit as well too. Apparently, she must also be on some kind of level of royalty because she has a golden sword. She got gems embroidered in that. And you know, that's not an aspect of something that would be there with just like a commonplace warrior or something, you know? Another thing about her is that we know she probably doesn't have much magic incorporated into her. Like Robin had kind of like, you know, uh, Robin had the book, the tomes, and he had the leaven sword. You know, he, you could tell he was kind of like a mixed bag. She looks like she's all out melee, all out, you know, fighting directly, you know? And I guess that can also be attributed from the fact that she is barefoot. A lot of times, barefoot characters in anime happen to be real brawlers, you know? So, like, apparently, it, it comes from, like, Dragon Ball Z. Well, it doesn't come from there, but I remember it kind of, like, reinforced with Dragon Ball Z. Whenever Goku, in the early days, was about to get into a serious fight, like with Raditz, always took off his shoes because they were weighted down or they, they inhibited his movement to the full extent, you know? So, just from the fact that she doesn't have any kind of footwear on, and she's totally barefoot means that she must be fast. She must be fast. And she's probably gonna have a crazy speed stat in the game too. I can just tell these things, you know? Certain things you can pick up on. The fact that she's fully armored as well, so she's probably gonna have a lot of defense. She's probably gonna be all, all well-rounded, you know? But probably no, no magic at all. A lot of speed, a lot of defense. Attack power may not be as high. I don't know. I don't know, it's hard to say, because usually characters that have the armor and the sword usually have the attack power and the defense, you know, kind of like the Kellums, but I, I, I don't know. Maybe the defense would be lacking, but she has full set of armor, so it's kind of hard to tell. But I'm, I'm trying to break down her stats, telling about what she looks like. And then, obviously, from what she's wearing as well, too, because she means no nonsense, her personality will reflect that. I'm thinking, man, I'm thinking, I think I think she's gonna be a Sundare. <laughs> she, she's gonna be that Sundare. <laughs> No, I can, can't you tell? Don't, don't you agree with me? You gotta let me know if you agree with me. Is this girl gonna be the next Sundare? I think she's gonna be. And the fact that now she's the main character of Fire Emblem, if her or the male counterpart, I know there's gonna be two of them. That is so awesome. That is so goddamn awesome. So now the story's gonna be focused on her. So she's gonna be going through a lot of these trials and tribulations as well too. It means that she's gonna have to be tough, really tough fucking tough because she's not a supporting character she's the main the, the head honcho you know so she's gonna be really tough and because of that toughness 
it's gonna be hard to get through to her. It's gonna be hard to get to her heart, you know? She's gonna be so, she's gonna have so many walls all the time, you know? So, it's kind of almost, it's really appealing to me, to be honest with you. Somebody who, like, I mean, at least in anime, you know? Somebody who's kind of been through so many trials and had to come out on top, and they kind of like, you know, they don't let anybody in. So when, you know, you do manage to break through, or you do manage to kind of like warm their heart up a bit, it's only you. It's only you and that girl. It's just, ah, oh, I love that concept, man. It's like, um, well, I, I think you're special, so, uh, yeah, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's that tsundere! That's that tsundere! Or, I know, I, I, there's so many terms for those kinds of anime girls, but you guys get what I'm saying. So, yeah, and plus, I mean, the fact that she's like fully armored up like that means that she won't have to rely on somebody else to fight her battles for her. She won't really have like a weak link attribute to her, you know? So that's also just, this all just makes her to be an appealing character, a really, a really full, bold character that's gonna be able to hold themselves down in any situation thrown at them. And that alone is reason enough for me to say that this girl's appealing. And plus, you know, the long hair, don't care, I like it. It's cool, it's cool. Plus she's royalty, it's, it's, she's royalty. She's gotta be royalty, look at her. Look at her, she's gotta be royalty. So because of that too, it's even tougher to get through to her heart. It's so tough to get through to these kinds of people because you know, she's, she's on a pedestal because she's royal. She's, she's tough as fuck, got full armor on and everything. So you know it's gonna be difficult to try to get through to her heart. But if you do, goodness gracious me. You, you're in for a surprise. That's a, that's a wife, right? That's a fucking wife, man. That's a diamond in the rough right there. That's a wife diamond right there. <laughs> a pure wife diamond. That's the same way my girlfriend is, you know? Everything that I described to you that I like about this girl, my girlfriend is that exact thing. And that's why I got together with her, you know? So, I mean, yeah. It, it, it's just, just so much to her that makes her unique. And plus, you know, some people think like the barefoot thing is weird for a warrior, like I said. It's probably because she's more of like a brawler, like in the anime, although she doesn't really seem to have like kind of like fighter kind of clothing. It's more knight kind of clothing. You've never seen a barefoot knight, have you? It's a little bit of a weird design choice, but I mean, it's kind of kinky, I suppose. I mean, it works. I mean, the, like the guy and the girl, you know, I mean, it, is it kind of kinky? It's, it's a little bit kinky, I think, you know? I mean, it, it, it works, fuck it. Either way, let me know your opinions of this whole thing in the comments below. Although, I, somebody did point this out to me. Um, why do I have Miyamoto in this? <laughs> Someone did point out to me though, though, that in regards to her being barefoot, she has two left feet. I didn't know what they meant at first, until you notice her big toe on her, is on the same side on both of her feet. So maybe, if I, maybe Atlas, you guys need to fix that up. That's a little bit odd. But um, other than that, even though it's a strange design choice as well, it doesn't really fit with the rest of her character. Hey, by all means, I mean, I'm open up to the newness of it. Hey, I don't mind. Like I said, it's kind of like a kinky little touch to her as well, too. On top of it being somewhat useful for her combat and for her speed, it's kinky. Boom. Three things. So you shouldn't complain too much about the whole barefoot thing. I think it works with her. I think it works with the guy, too, more. It works with the male more than it does for the girl. Because, you know, guys, you know, fighters and whatnot, you know, we're, we're used to that kind of thing in anime. So... Either way, guys, um, I don't think you should criticize that attribute of her too much, but in my opinion, she's the best Fire Emblem girl in IF so far. She's the best, the second one is Sully 2.0, and from there, I don't know. But I can say her and Sully 2.0 are my favorite Fire Emblem girls, and IF, which are yours right now? Let me know in the comments below. This is one of the craziest kinds of videos I ever made in my life, but it's just something I wanted to do, and I wanted to see if some other people out there shared my thoughts. If you disagree with me on one of these girls, let me know. If you agree with me on one of these girls, let me know. I'll be in the description, and we can just talk it up about all these potential waifu that are coming to America. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please, please have yourself a damn good one.